What's up, folks? It's Drew from Fastlane Emergency Vehicles here in the driving rain to bring you another Tahoe. Um, this one's a little special because we're friends of Sterling VRS. I absolutely love those guys, so I'm out here braving the elements to bring this bad boy to you. Um, so as always, we'll dive in and check it out. starting back here and I'm out of the range while well, I'm doing this one first. Um, we have some more M-Powers here underneath the lift gate so you have some warning when the lift gate's up. You have these technique dome lights that shine down for you know luminescence. Um, we have the lift gate up. Uh, up here we took out of, the old, of their old unit that we built previously. They had this nice little white board with the velcro uh, attached to the upper portion of the lift gate. I like the idea. I might steal it. Um, up here you know big heavy duty drawer. Integrated drawer release system. Here, this, was, this is actually pretty slick, so you have this foldy aluminum doohickey. And I'm calling it a doohickey because we haven't quite come up with a cool name for it. But what this does is this holds the base of a command board, and you have this aluminum pole here, and you can rest a command board against that. If you don't want to deploy your giant, badass vertical command drawer. So this thing here, this should look kind of familiar because uh, like Grayson County and some of our uh, previous expeditions that we built have similar setup to this, but this is the first time we've done this in a Tahoe, so it looks pretty sweet. Adjustable battling doors here. Magnetic mics, and you can see they have like a little trough for storing their mics. So that's the purpose of this area down here. Um, Faceplate here for three integrated radios with the radio speakers next to the head. Uh, rear Fastplex touchscreen, so it has all the same functionality as the one you see in the center console. A couple of power points, dual USB right here. They have their Firecom jack right here um, on the other side of this bad boy. Another dual USB, storage trough. We have another adjustable Batwing command board. very large sundry drawer. This thing's pretty cute. And then they also had the idea to set this bad boy up. Little tabletop workstation. So you have this removable HDPE section. You can have a little workstation utilizing the drawer. Pretty innovative, so we love you know interfacing with customers when they have good ideas. We take them and run with them. Alright, so over here in the mid row section, we have the 40% portion of the bench seat like a lot of our builds do. Um, starting here in the window, actually this is kind of different, um, they have like one of those like prisoner partition guards. These are actually kind of hard to find for this new buy style, believe it or not, so we actually made this one. Uh, it's pretty biased, but I think it's pretty damn cool. Um, moving into the actual console itself, adjustable shelf, uh, diffused lighting. 12 volt power point up here for charging items. Well, actually, both sides. Electrical box. So, all the electrical components are housed underneath there. You have the top access man door, then you have the uh, vented Lexan cover, and then O2 bottle storage over here. So, this is a big area for storing a lot of miscellaneous gear. section where the singular seat is and a lot of these builds if you watch previously you know there's kind of not a whole lot to say about it that's not the case with this one <laughs> this one's actually cool 
Um, so obviously you have a seat, you sit in it, but then you also have a rear center console. This is something that, you know, these guys are really champion down in Sterling. Um, I like the idea, the previous uh, Suburban we built for back in the day had this as well. Kind of find the idea. I would like to start doing this more. Um, but you, you, I'll let you guys move in after this, but adjustable, you know, rear armrest, rear center console, rear storage, nice open storage back there, rear power points, rear cup holder, rear map book slot. It's, it's, just, it's just neat, man. It's just cool stuff. I'll let you guys do in there and check it out. So we're talking in the cab, always going to start with the overhead, um, cab design, CNC cut, uh, aluminum face plates, powder coated, the whole nine yards is what we do, all custom here at Fastlane. White map light, red map light, 7 inch Fastplex touchscreen controls all the functionality of the vehicle, OEM airbag module, and you have your radio speakers. Moving down, as always, E20 bus fuse block, every fuse dive on the vehicle aftermarket is ran through there, which makes for really easy troubleshooting. SL295 siren controller, couple of power points. My hands are a little, little slick, so forgive that. Um, one 12 volt, you know, cigarette lighter, one dual USB, custom slide, Motorola radios, magnetic mics. You have their uh, Gamber Johnson tablet holders with their Havis dock and the customer supplied tough book. Armrests, cup holders, big storage area, and then on this side, can't see from here, but you'll see it in the walk around or in some of the other videos. Uh, portion of this video. They have their OEM, USB, USB-C, and 12-volt cigarette lighter. Alright folks, I appreciate you sticking out the weather with me. Looks like we're finally clearing up here a little bit. Of course, now just in time for this to finish. Um, but, like I said, absolutely love the guy at Sterling. I, I know I say this a lot about a lot of different cabinets, but this is probably one of my favorites. A lot of really innovative ideas. Love working with them. They have great ideas, and that's the cool thing about Fastlane is you have cool ideas, great into your truck. Uh, so like always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more cool fast like content, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.